Here's your ultimate guide on buying a second home on the Big Island of Hawaii. Let's dive in. Why people buy a second home on the Big Island of Hawaii? First, personal use. Use as your vacation home or corporate retreat. You are buying a lifestyle here. If it's a, one of the renowned resort, then you have the privileges of the amenities exclusive to the homeowners, including special golf rate. You can enjoy absolute privacy if you own the property in one of the private resort, such as Kukio, Kualalai, and Kohanaiki, Hokulia. Number two, income from rental. Hawaii has been always one of the most desired tourist destinations that translate into a strong demand to uh, vacation rentals. Hawaii's natural beauty and warm weather and various attractions make it a great vacation spot, attracting visitors all over the world. Owning a property in one of the resort could provide you a constant street of income from rentals. However, here's something I'd like to share with you because there is homeowners association dues, which could be relatively expensive. For example, homeowners association dues, HOA dues, in Waikola Village range from $1,000 and up to almost $3,000. And there are other expenses also, such as cleaning fees and electricity and repair fee, if it's necessary, and also management fee which I strongly recommend to hire. So after subtracting all the expenses on the top of HOA, you might just break even. Then why should I even consider buying a second home in the resort? You might ask. Here's a reason why. Number three, appreciation. Hawaii's real estate market has historically shown appreciation in property value over time with some fluctuations. The properties in well-known resort could potentially appreciate as the demand for luxury properties in prime location continues to grow. We saw more than a 25% increase in equity a little over 12 months. The statistics shows that the average annual appreciation is approximately 6% since year 2000. There might be some areas that have similar appreciation on the mainland, but do they offer the same kind of lifestyle which Hawaii does? Number four, risk hedge. Hawaii's geographic isolation makes it less vulnerable to global economic fluctuations. It provides security for investors looking to hedge against risk. Number five, retirement. Even if you purchase a property for your second home or an investment property, you might end up in retiring on this island. At that time, you already have it. Remember, you're also buying lifestyle here. Do you know anywhere other than the big island where you can play in the snow and swim in the ocean on the same day? That's how diverse and special the big island is. I've been involved in tourism for 25 years. I started my own travel agency on Maui 25 years ago and continued on the big island for over 23 years. I have many repeat clients and I ask them, what made you a repeater? And many say, I don't know, but I noticed that there is something special about this island. But they also realized that every time they came here, they found something new and they came back to explore that something new. Then they ended up with finding another something new. That's how they became a repeater. And some of them had retired on the big island and some of them are considering retiring. What about the tax benefit? Tax benefit you can claim depends on your income and also the property use. Tax is very complicated and tax laws change constantly. So before making critical decisions, consult with a tax professional who knows about your financial situation and tax laws applicable to the Big Island of Hawaii. For the Japanese investors, Overseas real estate investment became less attractive due to tax reform that happened 2019 in the sense that they no longer use depreciation expenses. However, it's just one downside. Owning a property in Hawaii is and it will be very popular among Japanese people, especially because of the prestige 
and status symbol. 23 years ago, when we first purchased our home, our realtor, Kathy Pacheco, told me this. Akemi, Hawaii's market follows that of mainland, and usually we are six months behind. However, Hawaii is such a unique market, so the price doesn't go down like it does on the mainland. It's still the same. Many saw price reduction on the mainland at the end of 2022, but we are not seeing it here on the Big Island. Actually, we even see a price increase depending on the location and the property itself. We have seen a huge drop in the number of sales as well as sales volume since last year. It's over 30% decrease year to date. We are experiencing low inventory. Demand is not as high as last year, but the supply is just so limited that it prevents the price from dropping. The median price hasn't gone down as many expected and hoped based on what happened year 2008. Current trend as of August. The median price for condos is higher compared to uh, August last year except North Kona. And median price for single home is also higher all over the island. The median price for vacant lot is higher in Kohala, but lower in Kona and Hilo. Overall, the days on the market has increased all over the island, even including resort areas. This wasn't the case a couple of years ago. Once a property hit a market, everybody wanted to make an offer, no matter what the property was. That's what it felt like. We always say if the property is priced correctly, it sells quickly. The last couple of years, it was hard to tell what the right price was. But now, it seems like the market is coming back to normal. Almost every day, I receive an email titled Price Improvement, Price Adjustment, Price Reduction. All of them mean the same thing, price reduction. But it doesn't mean that the price are going down. Most likely that it was priced high, too high to begin with. In today's market, just like always, some of the properties are priced right and sell quickly. And some of the properties are priced high just to check the market and ended up with reducing the price many times. Let's talk about inventory. To increase inventory, there are only two ways. Either building new constructions or selling existing properties. We really have new developments here on the Big Island. Currently, there is only one going on Waikolo Village with 10 home sites, and there are two happening in Kailua Kona. A new development is really rare on this island. What about the homeowners selling their properties? During pandemic, many investors and second homeowners put their properties on the market taking advantage of the market condition. The market was extremely hot and people realized that you can work remotely, then why not in Hawaii? The interest rates were much lower, so the buyers were motivated, even though the price was extremely high. It's been a while since the peak is over. With current higher interest rate, the buyers are very discouraged to purchase a property. They are no longer in frenzy buying situation and buyers might find this current market less attractive and holding onto their property. Many homeowners know that there is a lot of equity in their real estate and they might be holding onto their property because they might want to use it as a collateral for another investment. Others may not want to sell their properties just because it's their primary home. Many don't want to sacrifice their family, community, job, culture, or lifestyle in exchange for money and live somewhere else. For those reasons, the inventory is extremely low right now. Experts are saying that the interest rate probably will go down in fall, but now they're saying probably it won't happen until next year. Yes, unfortunately, the interest rates are higher compared to a few years ago. However, if you feel comfortable with the monthly payment and if you find a house you are in love with, it might be a good idea to purchase it now and then refinance later when the rates go down. When we bought current house, the interest rate was 6.5%. It was relatively higher, we thought, but we were able to manage the payment so we decided to purchase the property. And we are so happy that we did 
because we were able to refinance twice for the next few years. And the best thing most of all is we are still in love with the house. Choosing the right location. Choosing the right location for your second home or an investment property depends on your goals. Your focus is on a constant stream of income from rental, then Kohala Coast Resort might be a great idea, such as Waikoloa Beach Resort, Manalani Resort, Mauna Kea Resort. If you are into high-end with absolute privacy, then one of the private resorts would be your choice. That includes Kukio, Kualalai, Kohanaiki, and Hokulia. If you are looking for a relatively affordable condo less than half a million, then Waikoloa Village and Kailua Kona will be your choice. And Kailua Kona has a wide range of selections. If you are more interested in residential areas, then here's my recommendations. Puako, homes are built along the coastline. And because of the location, the price point is really high. Currently available listing range from 2 million to 5 million. The ocean is right in front of the property. North Kohala, the oldest part of the big island with breathtaking ocean view. There are some luxury development, Kohala Waterfront, Kohala by the Sea, and Kohala Ranch. Kaila Kona, wide range of family homes, close to the airport, and the weather is mixed. Depending on the property, you have a beautiful ocean view. Waikola Village, with a new shopping center, it's getting even more popular. Short trips to resorts and close to Waimea and Kona. The weather is warm and there are many homes with ocean view. Starting price is about 700,000, up to 1.5, but I just sold over 2 million this morning. Waimea, small upcountry town. Many families with children choose Waimea because of school. They are both public and private schools up to high school. The elevation is about 2,700 feet, so it has a cooler temperature. Waimea is known, it's lush green, but there is a dry side also. Dry side in Waimea has much less rain compared to the wet side, and the temperature is also warmer. Currently, price range from 600,000 up to 5 million. Kilo, more affordable. Entry level price starts around $300,000, and up to 5 million. There is a University of Hawaii at Hilo attracting students and faculty needing housing options. Rental properties near the university might experience consistent demand. Hilo has a different vibe from the resort area. You might find more of old Hawaii in Hilo side. Budgeting and financing. As of August, the cash deals are still high. The last 12 months, cash deals were about 40%, and during the pandemic, we saw it went up to 50%. Current statistics shows that 60% of the transactions are cash deal. Why? Maybe because of the current high interest rate. Financing may not be feasible, especially when you are trying to maximize cash flow. However, a cash deal is not always the best way for everybody for tax reasons. Strategies are different depending on the buyer so please consult your professional before you make decisions. If you are financing, I strongly recommend that you use a local lender. Local lenders are familiar with restrictions and different types of programs you are qualified for that reduces your stress level tremendously as well as save your time and efforts. There are some situations only the local lenders could help, such as Condotel. Condotel is a condominium with a front desk. If you don't know any local lenders, don't worry. I have a list of trusted local lenders, which I'm happy to share with you. If you are new to my channel, my name is Akemi Rubinstein, your go-to Big Island real estate advisor. Whether you are considering retiring in paradise or seeking a vacation home or an investment property along the breathtaking shores of Hawaii, I've got you covered. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified when new video drops. Tax consideration. Property tax for a second home or an investment property is almost twice as much as a primary home. When a non-Hawaiian resident sells a property, there are one or two withholdings 
depending on where you reside. If you are a US citizen but non Hawaii resident, there is a withholding called HAPTA. That stands for Hawaii Real Property Tax Act. If you're a foreigner, say you're a Japanese, then there's another withholdings called FERPTA. That stands for Foreign Investment Real Property Tax Act. Currently, they are 7.5% and 15% respectively. These withholdings are calculated based on the sales price, not the net profit. The actual tax is levied on the net profit. So many cases, you'll get some refund when you file the tax return and you apply for the refund. So don't forget. Also, don't forget to keep the receipts for the improvements you did for your Hawaii property since you might be able to use them for deductions later. When you own a second home on the Big Island, there are some tax implications and potential tax benefit. Tax implications, property tax and tax on rental income, tax on vacation rental, capital gain tax. Regarding the income from rental, there are some restrictions and that are changing. So if you have any questions, please contact me. I'm happy to answer your question. In addition to 1031 exchange, you might have other tax benefits such as mortgage interest deduction and property tax deduction, potential rental deductions such as property management fees and home office deductions. Tax law can change and the benefit you will receive depend on your specific situation and the way how you use the property. It's crucial for you to consult with a tax profession before making a decision on purchasing a second home on the Big Island. Just like primary home buyers, it's important for a second home buyer or an investor to hire an experienced, a knowledgeable and trustworthy agent who has vast network that will save you a lot of time and reduce your stress level. Realtors' vast network becomes critical when things go south. How do you find your agent? There are many agents who specializes in second home purchase with local expertise and knowledge and experience. Begin by asking your family or friends. If you don't find any recommendations, Try to find an agent who is sincere to listen and care about your needs and concerns. Ultimately, trust your instincts. Choose an agent you feel confident in and who demonstrate genuine interest in helping you find a right property. Do you know how much we lost by not claiming our ownership properly? The answer is way too much. We paid almost double in property tax until we realized a few years later. When we purchased our current home, the first home which we are planning to sell was on the market. Actually, it was on the market much longer than we expected. So the current home was considered our second home. That's why the tax was higher. We were supposed to change the status of the property from second home to our primary home. As soon as the first home was sold, we are supposed to change the status of the ownership of the second home, which is current home, from investment property to primary home to have homeowner's exemption. But we totally forgot. I was just too happy down with the double mortgage payment. We were paying higher tax for years. Ouch! Yes, I noticed that the tax was higher, but I was thinking, that's the price to live in paradise. We overpaid for a few years, and even with a proof, we couldn't get any refund, even partially. So if you purchased a second home here and ended up retiring here, and the property becomes your primary residence, check your tax report. You want to see home exemption under exemption type. Current market. There's some information for current market with a number of properties on the market and the price range. Mauna Kea Resort Condo, three properties, range from 4.65 million to 4.8 million. Residentials, six of them, 5.349 million up to 22.9 million. Mauna Lani Resort Condos, three of them, 
2.45 million up to 4.5 million. There are five residentials from 4.6 million up to 21 million. Waikolo Beach Resort, six condominiums, starting from 775,000 up to 4.19 million. Residentials, only one residentials, which is listed for 11.9 million. Waikolo Village condos, five of them, starting from 4,029,000 ,000 up to 679,000. 000. 20 residentials, starting from 710,000 up to 2.995 million. Kona, condos, 37 condos, uh, starting $350,000 up to 1.349 million. Residentials, 48 properties, starting from 399,000 up to 9.999 million. Kohala Gated Community, which is Kohala by the Sea, Kohala Ranch, and Kohala Waterfront. Seven of them, starting from 1.699 million up to 3.498 million. Puako, there are three, uh, between 2.195 million to 4.5 million. Private Resort, Kukio, two properties, 24.95 million. Kualalai, only one, 29 million. Kohanaiki, five properties, from 5.4 to 20 million. Hokulia, three properties, from 4.25 million to 5.499 million. So when you're ready to purchase a second home or investment property, please let your agent know the following things. Number one, the properties you are interested in. Number two, the use of the property. Number three, time frame. Number four, financing, cash, or using 1031 exchange. Once your offer is accepted, the first two weeks is gonna be very busy. Don't worry, your trusted agent will assist you with every step of the way. Many things can be done remotely. Your agent will assist you with arranging inspections. And most likely, the only time you need to be here is probably when you do the final inspection, final walkthrough. But even that, you don't have to be here if you are comfortable with your agent doing FaceTime or video call. The timeline is for the cash buyers, it's usually 30 days and financing is usually 45 days. Probably the most critical timing is the time when you offer. When a property you are looking for hit the market, you really need to act very quickly, especially on this market with such a low inventory. That means most likely, you need to submit your offer within 24 hours after the listing hit the market. When you submit an offer with financing, you want to attach pre-qualification letter or pre-approval letter, which is even better. If you're a cash buyer, you want to have a verification of funds ready. Another important thing is that if you have any questions or concerns, talk to your agent right away. Especially when there is a problem, the sooner the better. Your realtor and his or her vast network will work together to have it solved. Remember, there are no such thing as a dumb question. I hope you found something helpful in this video today. For more videos about Big Island real estate and living, make sure to check one of my videos on the screen. Mahalo and arigatou gozaimashita for watching. See you on the next one. Aloha.